Let's talk. Let's talk about the hat stuff. Okay. I want to talk about the differences now. Get a little water. This is Panama. The Panama straw, you see the concentric rings. Get some nice morning sunshine right there. Okay. They're woven from the center out by hand. Somebody's hand. Kind of like, I don't know, like knitting needle point. They just sit there with a little circle, some straw, doing it. And that's it. Um, they make the straw in Ecuador, made by an Ecuadorian person, most likely. The straw goes to, to the United States or to someplace else, Europe, and they shape it and they finish it, make it into a hat. Okay, in this case, it's a uh, kind of a bolero style with a flat brim and uh, one of my old uh, wrinkled up Borsalino bands on it. Now, um, despite the shape or the style, it's uh, it's Panama, Panama straw, okay? So we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of the Panama stuff versus the hemp, okay? Panama in general is going to usually suggest a more elegant hat. You know, something in this shape. Pinches, snap brim, ribbon band. Um, they come in natural or bleached. They also sometimes come in colored, which is a natural one with some uh, transparent dye over it. The natural look more organic and they have a little bit more classical expensive look because the super expensive like thousand dollar Panamas are natural. Um, the bleached ones are going to feel much softer. They're going to be lighter in color, like an eggshell, or, you know, closer to white. They're good for people who want that more whitish look, you know, that very white, elegant, you know. It's off-white, and it's, uh, it's like that smooth criminal, everything in white, you know, smooth. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. Um, it's very elegant in, in another way. It's less sort of organic looking, but you get more softness you get to feel a little bit of stretchiness, a little, you know, a little bit more bang for the buck usually. A lot of this starts at the $200 level, like with the $100, $125 ones, there's a little bit less difference. Uh, like Bogarts and uh, Classic Panamas, they come both ways, but you don't feel a difference. But then when you get to the grade eight stuff, we have some hats like $225 hats that are on sale even for half price stuff like the uh, the FIPS, the Pissarro, anything that's grade eight, the difference is very apparent. The, uh, the bleached ones are stretchy, they're soft, and they're not crunchy, where the, uh, the natural ones have that more, a little bit, you know, crunchier look and less of the, uh, what do you call it, flexibility, and, um, but they look more sort of elegant. They have that natural sort of organic color of straw where the bleached ones behave more like a hemp hat. They're stretchier, they're a little bit softer. Um, you get way more bang for the buck. You get to, oh, that's what they meant by Panama. Okay, I could see, you can actually take this Panama when it's getting old and you know, like, and, and it's soft, you know? But um, hemp hats are basically like that all the time. They're like super high grade Panamas plus. Panamas will crack if you grab them here eventually, you know, it's straw. This stuff is hemp. Hemp is, think about those tug-of-war ropes, you know, like classic rope rope, that beige rope. That's hemp. It's all fiber. It's just like pure, pure, the strongest fiber you could get, like a, like a vine or something. You know, it's, a, it's, it's hugely strong. Um, you see the way I beat this hat up all the time. And... Um, it's also flexible, so you can mess it up. Human error doesn't screw it up. Um, you also have the advantage of like steaming it low, steaming it high, you know, depending on which look you like. You know, you could freeze it up like this, or you could freeze it down like this. You know, totally different crown height. Up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, okay. So basically, hemp is going to give you way more strength, 
it's also gonna give you a little bit more weight. It's weight, right? Okay, Panama is gonna give you a little bit more lightness generally. It's gonna give you an elegant quality. Um, it's woven by hand and it looks it, you know, it has a sort of a organic, natural quality to it that nothing else seems to really have. It's hard to explain, almost the way linen is like, or wood or leather, it, there's a beauty in it that you can't really see with the bleached Panamas and stuff. It's kind of like a, a natural thing, you know? Um, it's like that Japanese Zen thing, you know, they use all the natural, like, uh, nothing is painted, it's just like natural wood, the tatami rooms kind of thing. It's like that, you know, very Zen and, and elegant in its simplicity and its naturalness, you know, its purity. Yeah. So, you know, you're going to get a very beautiful and elegant thing when you do Panama. When you're doing a hat like a Stradaliner or a hemp, you're getting a leather sweatband, which is, you know, way more durable. In other words, it's going to block perspiration from going through the hat and you're not going to sweat through it easily. Panamas generally don't have that. They keep the leather out to keep the weight down so you don't have that weight, you know, that heavy weight. Uh, they keep them lighter. The lighter the hat, no leather sweatband, it's easier to sweat through there. Um, but you don't walk around with a leather belt on your forehead all day. This hat is not going to be that dressy. It's, there's a limit. You could get pretty, you know, dressy with a, you know, the right Chelsea or Stradaliner hemp or, or Asher hemp. Um, there are plenty of elegant things out there. The ones that are, that are, you know, European, there's all kinds of stuff. But um, Panama is generally gonna take you one step further. It's gonna be more elegant, where this has a little bit of a 50s throwback, 1950s Florida, you know, uh, uh, Italian uh, leather front sweaters, all that, you know, mid 60s cool Florida style. It's kind of cool like that. Um, got a little throwback vibe to it and they keep that in into the mix you know because it's cool like the, uh, the retro colors you know the cream with uh, the cream binding it's almost like my guitar it's light blue with cream binding it's very retro Florida like uh, Fort Lauderdale in the 50s or 60s kind of thing you know it's a cool thing so you know hemp has a more cool kind of a thing it's also very very strong it's gonna last you way way more seasons Panama is going to be a little thinner. It's a little bit more special. It's definitely more dressy. It's lighter. It tends to be a little bit more crunchier and less uh, stretchy. Um, so there's pros and cons both ways. Um, I think if you're going for durability, something that's easy to use, you don't have to worry about it. It's good to have a leather sweatband so you can just wipe it down with a hanky, keep it nice and dry, sanitary. Cloth sweatband is way, way lighter. You don't get the, you know, the heavy. It gets heavy, you know. Um, when you're out there, the tank top, no socks, you know, thongs, sneak flip flops, what you call it, and uh, you don't want a leather belt on your head, you know. But this keeps you dry. You can wipe it down with your hanky after you cool off in a restaurant. You're nice and air conditioned and cool. You don't want to put on your Panama and feel the wetness of the cloth sweatband from your perspiration. Um, it's cold from the AC, you know, like cold sweat, you know. You just cooled off, you feel fresh. So a leather sweatband will feel dry, sanitary. No sweatband is going to feel much lighter. So it's a, it's a give and take. Um, I like Panama for certain applications. Um, when you want to keep the weight down, a hat like this made out of hemp with this size brim would just not work. It would be super heavy. Um, so you got the lightness. It's got that parachute air kind of quality. There's a lot of negative space there. You can see it. A good amount of negative space. Um, so Panama is really airy. It feels great. Um, it has a certain look. It takes dye a certain way. 
do say they're different animals and they're pros and cons to both types of straws. Um, if you're going durability, what you want is strength, something like hemp, you know, like a ropey, fibrous material, and the Milan Myelin Weave, which is stretchy. Anything stretchy is going to also work out for you. So a Milan starts off hard and crunchy, and as you own it and you own it, the years go by, it turns into something like you see here. So when you get it, it's not going to feel like this. This is a heavily, heavily broken in hat. Um, they'll feel hard. There's stiffener on it, and that gives you control. You know, you can see my brim is sagged. It used to be like way up here and stuff. You know, um, I like my hat soft. Um, it's just my thing, you know. But uh, you know, I also have the luxury of working at the hat shop and getting free hats twice a year. I get a free hat uh, for working full part time, uh, full time. So um, you know. It's easier for me to kind of abuse a hat where I have another stack of good hats behind me. Let's put it that way. Um, I think hemp is really durable. If you've had problems with your Panamas and you're, you're going through them, switch to hemp. You'll be very, very happy. Um, take advantage of JJ Hat Center sales now. Uh, we're doing this crazy stuff because of the pandemic and uh, it's to keep, you know, keep everything strong so we can get through the pandemic and take advantage of it, do it. Um, you're not gonna see 25, 30%, 50% off all these hats when this thing's over. It's gonna go back to like an occasional 25% just at the holidays. And um, you know, less hats going on 50% permanently. So definitely take advantage of it now. Uh, I'm telling you, it's, uh, it's not gonna hold. And uh, the prices are really good. If you could get any, any of this stuff at 25, 50% off, uh, you know, just, just go for it, you know. That's how I feel. Uh, that's the time to snag it. Um, when they have like 25, 30% off the whole store and stuff, get your dream hat, you know. Don't, don't do it at other times, you know. And it's happening all the time now. So um, uh, I'm, I'm going to say Stetson runs pretty much true to size. So if you're a seven and a quarter, get seven and a quarter. If you feel you're a little in betweeny, just go to the bigger size, tighten up. I've got some foam in here. I didn't even know until this moment. That's just some old cheap weather stripping, like a poly foam weather seal, three eighth inch width. Very, very sticky. It's been here for years. Still incredibly sticky. Or I could take it out, with no problem. So you could always tighten up your hat, but you can't stretch them. You don't want to stretch them. If you stretch them, they look like crap. Um, they're not meant to be stretched. They're meant to be padded if they're too big. So go for the bigger size if you're in doubt. If you think you're dead on seven and a quarter in your baseball hats, get seven and a quarter in a Stetson. They run in general very dead on, but they're a little erratic. A few of them run a little bit big. Uh, some of them run dead on. So it's kind of like, you gotta take two or three, and, you know, average them out sometimes, but it's not the worst thing because going a little bit big is usually not that bad. And I'm talking a little bit, not, not hugely big. Um, and uh, that's it, you know. Uh, we're gonna talk more about different types of straws like Shantung, um, which can be kind of like uh, a little bit harder and hotter too, but uh, durable, um, um, and we're going to talk about other types of straws, so I'm going to uh, get my coffee, get a drink of water, and dry throat, just woke up, so I'll we'll see you guys, okay, happy uh, Easter Bunny Day to everybody, and uh, I wish everybody well, hey, fun, some peace, graceful peace.
Sleep. It's a big part, I think.